Two stolen cars, two separate crashes. Police look for answers in this trail of destruction in Westchester. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. A driver who was struck by one of the stolen cars is speaking only to CBS News Philadelphia this noon, and we have exclusive security camera video of that crash. Matt Petrillo is live where it happened at Gay and Darlington Streets. Good afternoon, Matt. Hey Jim, good afternoon to you. It is here on Gay Street where police say that crash first happened before the driver of that stolen car hit several parked vehicles. You can see some of the car pieces left behind and police say part of the crash was captured on camera. It's a scary. Security video shows the moments Nicole Benedetti stops a Subaru Forester at Gay and Darlington Streets in Westchester just after midnight before driving into the intersection. That's when police say a driver in a stolen sedan goes through a stop sign and crashes into her. Watch again and you can see the impact was so great the Subaru spins around twice. And I was just going across town and like nobody was there. I mean, you know, he saw the video. Nobody was sitting there at all. And uh, I had literally two seconds, was smashed. I spun around completely twice, was up on the curb. The kid hit like three other cars here, too. But luckily, they were all just parked. But it was a, it was a nightmare. Nicole's going to get checked out, but she does not think she was hurt. Police say not too far from that scene, another stolen car slammed into a light pole. Police say six people were injured in both crashes. But we still don't know whether the incidents are connected. I just assumed it was like a drunk driver or something. Like, I never would have guessed that it was two stolen cars. Like, it's insane. I don't, like, what are you even thinking? Like, you just ruined the rest of your lives. Like, and you could have killed several people. And at this point, police tell us no one has been charged. That's because some of the people riding in those stolen vehicles were so badly hurt they are still in the hospital. We're working to learn more about those suspects. We'll bring you that starting at 4. For now, reporting live in Westchester, I'm Matt Petrillo. Jim, back to you. Thank you, Matt, for that update. Appreciate it.